question this morning, and maybe you get asked this question a lot, or maybe you don't ever get asked this question at all. Are you ready? Where are you from? Where are you from? You're from Pella? Okay. Where are you from? Newton. All right. So when people ask you where you're from, it's usually like the city where you're living in now, right? But as you get older, sometimes people ask you that, and they don't want to know what city you live in now. They want to know something different. They want to know, like, where you grew up. And because the reason why they don't ask you that in a different way now is because where you grew up really is the city where you're living right now, right? Unless you've lived anywhere else. Have you lived anywhere else? No? All right. So if, if I were to ask you where you're from, and I said, no, I don't mean Newton. I mean, like, before that, do you have, would you have an answer for that? No. You wouldn't because you grew up, you live here, right? This is your hometown. Now, um, do you happen to know where your parents grew up? Okay, where did your parents grow up? Texas. So, are you from Texas? No, you don't really know that much about Texas, do you? But your parents are from Texas, which makes a difference sometimes in like the things that you like or the things you're interested in. Because who's your football team? Texas A&M, okay. Right. And we might wonder why you'd be rooting for a team in Texas when you live in Iowa, but your parents are, are Texas A&M fans. How about you? Do you know where your parents grew up? Your dad grew up here. In Ames. So still from Iowa, right? Osceola. Osceola. Okay, yep, still in Iowa. All right, so, um, excellent. Um, and, and so when people ask me where I grew up, um, I tell them I grew up in Carlisle, which is not very far from here, um, and it's still near Des Moines, but in, here in Iowa, right? And, and so um, that's what people want to know. Sometimes people want to know where you're from, and they're not even talking about, like, you or your parents. They're, they might be talking about a very long time ago, because we all came from somewhere else, right? We all came, um, our families came from somewhere else. We did not just originate here in the United States. And so, do you know what your, where your origins come from, where your family comes from, like before they came to this country? Any idea? Do you know this? Germany, maybe? Okay. Do you have any idea? No, so maybe you don't, you're not interested in this at all, and maybe you are. <laughs> maybe you, you're going to go home and ask these questions. Um, and it's fine either way, um, because it's just really a way for us to uh, tie back to what sometimes we call our roots. Now, where have you heard the word roots before? Where do you find roots? From a plant. And the roots of a plant are something that you don't see. They're down underneath, right? And they're the thing that uh, do a few things for us. It stabilizes the plant. It keeps it so that it's strong. But also, it provides the nutrients that give it life. So it, it draws water out. It draws food out of the soil to give it life. And so we call those our roots because these are the things that kind of shape who we are. And sometimes you might have a family tradition that comes from, say, Germany, that um, you don't even know why you do it, but it happens to be uh, something that comes from Germany. Um, my, my family, part of it came from Norway, and so um, when it gets to be holiday, holiday times, my great-grandma used to make uh, Norwegian um, food. And um, nobody else does that because it's not very good. Um, <laughs> they make this fish dish, the fish dish that's not very good. And I don't think anyway. And so people stopped making it, but um, she did because it was part of her roots. And, um, and it still informs me today. So um, in the story that we're going to hear from Jeremiah, um, Jeremiah and all of the other Israelites are looking at having to move. And they don't want to move, but they're going to be made to move by an army that's coming in and is going to conquer them. And after that happens, they're going to move to someplace other than their homeland. 
And so that would be like if someone came in and said, you can no longer live here, you have to go live in, in Brazil. Just some random country, right? You can't live here. You've got to go thousands of miles away and live there. Would you like that? You don't speak the language. You don't speak Portuguese, do you? No. So you don't speak the language. You don't know the custom. You don't, like the f you don't know the food, right? And, and so that would be really, really weird to have to move when you didn't want to move in the first place. And then people would always go, well, where are you from? They'd say that all the time. And you'd be like, not here. That would be a really hard life to live. And that's what they're going to be living. They're going to be living a life like that where they don't know anything. And they're not at home. And they don't have any of their friends with them. And they're just by themselves. And, and that would be really, really hard to do. So as you hear the story um, from Jeremiah, and you think about like what that would mean, to not be able to be at home anymore, to not be able to live in a place where you know anything that's going on, that you know the language or anything, how hard that might be um, for you to do that. And, um, to, and that's kind of the, the crisis that they're facing. And we're going to talk about some other things that are going on um, here and um, how, we might, how this lesson might help us to deal with that um, and, and if there's any hope that God brings to us. But uh, that's the story of Jeremiah this morning. Would you pray with me before you go? God, we're thankful that you are with us always. And even if we have to go someplace that is strange and foreign to us, yeah, even if they speak the same language we do, too, we do it, it still might feel different. But if it's a place where we don't even speak the same language, that would be really tough. If we ever have to do that, God, we are so thankful that you are with us. That you are with us always. And that you will always be with us no matter where we go. In your name we pray. Amen. Alright, thank you for this morning. I'll see you next time.